I'm Elsa Cardenas. I'm from Brownsville, Texas, and we're here at the Green Ghost Hero Academy in Los Fresnos. Um, I started training Jiu-Jitsu about two years ago. I started training under Johnny Garcia. He actually gave me my, the first three stripes on my white belt. After that, I found a new home here at Green Ghost Academy and with a whole new family, because that's what we are, we're a family. And, you know, most of the times I am the only girl here in a group of big boys. So it is extremely hard, especially, you know, since you have to take into consideration that I'm never going to overpower them. I'm never going to overstrength them. But that just works in my favor because, you know, the harder my training partners are with me here at practice, the easier my opponents will be in an actual competition. I've had a couple of competitions uh, in the past two years. Uh, not as many as I hoped. Um, you know, I've lost, I've won some, but uh, as Jeff Benugli, the sensei here, would say, you have to invest in losing to win. And uh, that rank is a real tough one, old man. But the way I see it, if you don't invest in losing, then you're gonna lose. You gotta want to get tapped. And as soon as you get tapped, you learn from that tap. One of the things we're teaching everybody here is to kick the ego off your shoulder and get tapped. And when you get tapped, learn from the tap. Some of these are gonna be world champions here. They just don't know it yet. You physically gotta be there, and mentally you gotta be a mental giant. And spiritually, you gotta believe you can do it all. And I believe that these folks can do it. I'm 60, and I'm gonna give them a run for the money until they keep tapping me over and over and over. And when they tap me over and over and over, I did my job. And I've taken that to heart because, you know, some days you're gonna come in and you're gonna get your, you know, you're gonna get your butt handed to you. And, you know, it's just not going to be your day. Not every day is going to be your day. And some days you're going to feel like you're on top of the world. But that's when you learn the most. That's when you really have to go back to the drawing board and say, you know, this is what I have to work on. And then, you know, from that you gain knowledge and, you know, you gain so much more than uh, if, you know, you were to just win all the time. You, you know, you wouldn't learn as much. Uh, here I train under DJ Fuentes. He is um, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Purple Belt. You know, him and Jeff are not only great teachers, but they are amazing human beings. You know, they care for you just not only as a student, but also as a person. You know, they, they work with you to be the best that you can be. And, you know, to, so you can really find yourself as an athlete, but also as a person. The thing that I've learned about, you know, the thing that I've uh, learned most about jiu-jitsu is that, you know, not only in jiu-jitsu, but in life as well, uh, the most important lesson is you have to keep moving. And that actually comes from DJ himself. He's always told us that in jiu-jitsu, you know, uh, it doesn't matter if you're not in a very dominant position, you have to keep moving, you know, because, you know, that's when you find your space you find your way out. And just in life, you know, uh, you may be faced with problems, but if you keep moving, you're gonna find your way out. And that is one great lesson that DJ has showed me, and I really, really, you know, appreciate that. I'm Elsa Cardenas, and you're watching Hometown Heroes.